isn't big and it isn't clever. Right, so we're obviously on our holiday in semi Wales. It is raining quite a bit. Unfortunately, it's now raining in the tent. <laughs> and it's meant to carry on for another 12 hours plus. Anybody got a bucket? Camping today. How are we doing? Right, so let's have a look. So today we're off to North Wales. It's about a four hour drive. It is silly o'clock, but we're just having a look at the weather. We're going to Cricketh and the weather forecast is... I'm sure it's good because it's summer holiday. As it is start of the summers. And Let's if you look. can see that, doesn't that look extra special? Ooh, yes. I'm glad we've got the wetsuits in the car ready. <laughs> We could be wearing that all week. We'll be sleeping in it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how it goes. Right, so we're just entering Wales, North Wales, and look what's arrived. The rain! Unbelievable! But don't worry, apparently it will go by next Saturday. So we'll be putting the tent up in the rain, but if we're lucky, we might be able to take it down in the dry. So this will be a, a big challenge for us. Never put a tent up in the rain. We do struggle when it's dry. So. Yeah, we can do it. And we will. Try. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't big and it isn't clever. It's getting worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. But the closer we get to our destination, the wetter it seems to be getting. Okay, let's... Let's go back. Let's <laughs> Let's wait and see some some good things that might happen. Yeah. What do you reckon, Han? Can we pitch it or not? I don't know whether we can pitch it in there. Oh, kids, looking forward to this. Don't be sad. We we'll bought, find something else to do. We actually bought body boards. We hope that we can go to the beach. <laughs> I'm hoping so much. I think we might need it to get across the campsite. <laughs> well, we're doing buddy boarding in the campsite. Yeah, it's good to get to the shower block. <laughs> Yesterday. So we've just arrived in Cricket. Um, and the weather forecast is now showing solid rain up until Saturday. Wait, I'm just going to show them the cricket cast. There it is, pretty. The weather is not meant to, it's not going to ease up at all apparently now. Mm -hmm. So one, we don't know if it's going to be possible to even pitch our tent and we could be making our quickest camping video ever because it could be a day of driving. That might not might, be camping. Because I think we could end up going back to Wiltshire. Have we decided then, Han? I think we're going to try and give it a go because we've just driven for bloody hours and at the end of the day what do not kill you makes you stronger <laughs> and the main thing is I found an off license so that's the main thing. Are we going to the right way? No, I'm going up here because I just wanted to see what's here. I'm just going to drive around Cricketh, we'll just go for a drive around Cricketh. I'm trying to phone the individual that's going to meet us at the caravan site, they're not there. The shame about this is, it's just um we got it by hook or by crook because it's just sighted caravans and they're allowing us to stay because we previously booked it and we sort of do know the owner from about well I know him from about 40 years ago um, yeah we'll give it a go I'm just going to see if there's any shops around where's the nearest supermarket otherwise it means we're driving about five miles every time yeah if we could pitch it now it's well, sort of it's just drizzling. died off a bit now so mm. we're going to pitch it in the drizzle if we can and it, the good news is now it's now looking like it is going to be dry on Saturday so yes, even if it's wet, wet all week yeah. at least the tent will be dry when we put it away <laughs> <laughs> the 
might stay one more day and, and go home on Sunday. Yeah, it may be, yeah, could even do that. Just to enjoy the yeah, country. Just, so if it's nice Saturday, then sod it, we'll have an extra night. Which I'm all for. Yeah, we're not putting it here. Okay, let's not waste time. Let's do this. Yeah? Take off your shoes. Leave it there for now. Shopping in Tesco after pitching our tent. Now we're free. And let's see what uh, what my husband bought. Mm, I like that. How are you feeling? I'm so tired. Getting some breakfast. Cereal for the kids. So after a lot of rain and well a lot of drizzle, it did actually stop <coughs> long enough for us to get settled here. It's taken us about two hours and within two hours I think we've pretty much had everything set up which is really good for Janice and I and we just wanted to thank the owners of <laughs> Cliff Big We're staying in Wales <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow and it's a really nice campsite. Okay, so here comes the rain. It is now half past six in the evening and the rain has come. Oh, the Hagrid's gonna make a video for the whole day. We can't let them have a good time. Send the rain army! <laughs> this is spectacular weather. So the reason you come for Wales, one, because of the scenery, um, we're again, spectacular mountain views and then you're on the coast so you probably get a suntan uh, probably not this week though it's lovely day one loving every bit of this I've got all the attire that's ready for this I've got swimsuits I've got bodyboards the trouble is, I didn't think we'd have to use them on the site, you know what I mean? Oh my god. But, here you go. Lovely whales. It's uh, spectacular. In fact, even the sheep are quiet now. Doesn't make a change. But there you go. Is that our tent? Look at that, you couldn't ask for much more, could you? A haven. Haven from the rain. Day one. Camping in Wales. Doesn't get much better than this. Um, what can I say? Wales is absolutely lovely. 
Unfortunately, it's so bloody foggy at 6 p.m. in the no, evening. No, it's sunny outside. What are you talking about? I can't even see Wales. That's the trouble. Come to Wales, enjoy the view. Look at you. You're getting the tan. I might be a bit tanned after that. <laughs> what are we having for dinner? Um, butter. <laughs> butter and bread. Because literally, we're so tired after this first day. Look at the kids. So it's a right result, isn't it, for kids? They sleep in the car. Thank God. Thank God for free Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I don't know whether I'd still be here. <laughs> but hopefully the weather does stay like this. So at least we can use the wetsuits. So we're not going to be using the bodyboards. We've actually spent so much money that this is what we're relying on now for dinner. Janice the hunter, Bo the not so hunter, <coughs> Amy let's just get wet. And there's quite enough in here. Yeah hey? this is it, we've got food. That's the most experienced person. It's like a castaway I, 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 gone wrong. I got, I got it, I got it. Beautiful place to do it though, down in Cricker. Rock Paul, it Bo's found something the size of the AAA battery. Oh, Whoa. This is it, shrimp on yeah, toast. I've got one. Can I burn with you? I've got one. Let's have a look, Bo. How big is it's, it? Um, you can't see it, it's in the sand a bit. Bo's quartz, can you see it? Can anybody? No. Nah, you can't I mean, see we're it. Not gonna, there's not many calories it. in that puppy. <laughs> Yeah. Are the kids all right? No, they're a bloody nightmare. <laughs> She's jumping on the bed. He's bouncing around. Put <laughs> human bloody pinball. <laughs> we're a tent that's like seven metres long. Yeah? Jesus. And we're confined to like 1.2 metres. And as the light started There you go, coming back to the tent with the nice weather. Yeah. This is it, you can't beat Wales. Better today then, you can see the hill. <laughs> I'm hungry. You want another one? Get the wine out. <laughs> right, so we're uh, obviously on our holiday in sunny Wales. It is raining quite a bit. Unfortunately, it's now raining in the tent. <laughs> and it's meant to carry on for another 12 hours plus. Anybody got a bucket? So we're still here in sunny Wales. Uh, you can probably hear how sunny it is by the um, orchestra that's now occurring on our roof. 
and we've just got back in to find that unfortunately we now have a leak. Just seems to be coming through the seam. But fortunately we do have more buckets and there's only about 12 to 16 hours worth of rain to go. But why is this happening? I don't know. Oh no. It's only been raining three hours. We have used this tent multiple times, so maybe it's just on its way up. The waterproof, the waterproof thing <laughs> away from it. Groovy. I hope so. Uh, don't even try jumping over it. <laughs> <laughs> Day five in Wales. There's no sheep crying. There's no rain hitting the roof. <laughs> so to keep us warm, the wine is here at last. Please. Five days into a seven day holiday. For God's sake. We don't deserve this. We deserve better. Next week I'm getting a cruise. I'm either buying a caravan or, or buying a bloody ferry because this is... <laughs> Been so painful. So um, we're on day six or nearly seven of our holiday now, uh, and the sun's actually making an appearance. Unbelievable! Um, and so what we've done is we want to try and find the best beach in North Wales, and so what we've done is asked the locals um, 
a lot of places like Abasak are recommended. Um, we're near Cricket Beach, which is all very shingly, it's not that good. Um, you've got Harlock Beach, is quite wide and sandy. Then you also have Black Rock Sands. But if you ask the locals, they recommend somewhere that I can't pronounce. Abaderon or something like that. So we're going to make our way there. It's right off at the end of the peninsula. Um, so we're going to go and check it out and see if we can find out what the locals class as the best beach in North Wales. Off we go. Done your noise now. It's really hard. See, it's not annoying at all, is it? Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay, make noise. This reverse psychology is number one. So here we are at Abadaron Beach. Unfortunately, I'm doing the review from inside the tent because it is quite windy. Right, this is about 15 miles or so further westwards than Abasok down the peninsula. You do have, it's a National Trust uh, sort of site and beach, so you've got National Trust parking, and you do have beautiful little village with ice cream shops, pubs, gift shops, etc. etc. When you come onto the beach itself, which you will see, it is quite long. I think it's got to be at least two miles long. And it is a mixture of sand and shingle. The sand is quite coarse, not fine sand that you do find on a lot of beaches, but it is very, very, very pretty. Right, you do have an island about a mile offshore, and apparently they do have trips out to the island, but where the sea's quite choppy today, we're unable to do that. It is, however, ideal bodyboarding weather and surf. And there's a lot of kayaks for hire, which a lot of people seem to be enjoying and doing. Do need your wetsuit so because the sea is still quite cold, even though it's August. Is this the best beach in North Wales? A lot of the locals seem to think it is, but we're unsure. All right, here you go. Janice is going to go trout trickling here. Oh my god, what a clown. Go on, this could be a big viral TikTok here as Janice goes arse over to it. In the Dweevor River in North Wales, Janice not skinny dipping. But that's cold, isn't it? <laughs> it's so refreshing. You see it. So here we are, we've been asking people which is the best beach in North Wales. Here, this is Black Rock Sands and as you can see it's quite a vast expanse of sand. It's, I suppose it's the Welsh version of Willacombe, really. Um, it's beautiful scenery though, 
in the distance you've got Frickers Castle, you've got Rocks and Caves over there and yeah we're going to plant ourselves here for the day because at last the sun is out on our last day so yeah a day at the beach at last in North Wales Right, so now the sun's come out. It is our last day, unfortunately, in Wales. But, so we've decided to make the most of it. A bit of beach, some waterfalls, and some amazing views. Janice filming me as I'm filming her. <laughs> Typical. Say hi. This isn't a photo. There was sun Shimmer on our skin 